They were smaller than the Steve Austin dolls. Yeah. And smaller, hence also smaller than the G.I. Joes. Yeah. Most people think of G.I. Joes as little action figures. Yeah, but no, but there's... our age and up. They were was, They were dolls. They yeah, were fucking, yeah. like, big dolls. And you pull the string and they fucking, like... It's time to f- you know, fuck up. There was no cobra or anything. Yeah, like yeah. That. They didn't have an enemy. <laughs> what, were you, what, what, was, what were you saying? <laughs> I was going to say, it's time fuck. to fuck up cobra. <laughs> yeah. Well, the string's like, it's time to, <laughs> it's time to fuck. G.I. Joe wants to G.I. fuck. <laughs> I'm like, what's that? Mean? You probably don't remember that. <laughs> that's, that's your old man's G.I. Joe. What's a G.I. He was horny. Fucking, <laughs> horny Joe. G.I. Jagoff. Um. I uh no, I remember <laughs> it was G.I. Joe on leave. <laughs> <laughs> they had the special the leave doll. <laughs> special edition. And now for it because you demanded it, the G.I. Joe short leave doll. Exactly. Joe's not always fighting for America. <laughs> the Vietnamese brothel place. <laughs> <laughs> With a special me love you long time companion. <laughs> sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky. They pull the string. <laughs> I want a G.I. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are just like, what happened? What happened to my G.I. Joe? But I wanted the Mego dolls and Batcave. Yeah. Really badly. And, you know, I remember my mother was like, what, is, what do you want for Santa? You know, what are you writing to Santa? What do you want for Christmas? What do you hope Santa brings you? And I said, oh, Batman and the Batcave. Mego, and I don't think I said the Mego Batman because there was only one yeah, yeah. Batman Batcave. Nothing to be confused about. Totally. You know, I wouldn't have to differentiate. And then Christmas morning, I got up, and I remember looking around, and I think at this point, I knew, if there are, no, if there are kids in the room, and God, why would there be? But if you got kids in the room, and they're young, cover their ears. Spoiler. Um, when I, I think I did, knew there was no Santa by the age of six. Mm-hmm. But it still played along. Like, I'm pretty sure my daughter knows there's no Santa. Yeah, yeah. Which is a bizarre, like contract that you enter into with your children yeah. knowing that one day you're going to have to be like we've been lying to you this whole time it's a, yeah. a weird moment like it didn't cause a rift between me and my parents but I've been thinking about it lately in terms of like one day I'm going to be having a discussion with the kid like remember when you were so stupid you thought there was a Santa for like six years you could seven talk years? about it in a nicer way than but I, I guess <laughs> starting so. it with but I'm sure she could come back with like remember when you lied to me you bastard and told me that a stranger came into our house with shit and gave us things yeah, yeah. it's a bizarre like lie that we tell our children yeah. and they get hip to it one day and then you got to be like yeah there is no Santa yeah we were lying and you really should just put everything into question. Like, my parents, obviously, you know, should be... I, I can't completely trust them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. This is weird. I look forward to that day when, I'm, when I could have that discussion with her. Be like, when did you know that there was, was no cool. Santa? Why did you play along? Because you'd still get shit anyway. Like, were you, pan- were you mad at us so you want to lie right back at us? Do you tell other lies? Um... Do you, do you remember? I don't remember it being like my memory isn't that it's a definitive like suddenly I didn't believe in Santa. I just like get the sense that like it went from being very like holy shit we put a plate of cookies out and they're yeah. gone and oh, that's yeah. evidence. And then all of a sudden I remember being like, nah. Um, I don't have. That's weird that you would imagine that's a maybe because you're so young and it's in such those early formative years that. It's lost to you, but I don't remember the exact details yeah. of, like, there is no Santa Claus, you know? It, it Like, I don't recall, but I remember... It seems like it's just left for people. You kind of leave your kids well, to discover Well, what happens it. is kids talk. Like, she's got kids in her class. We've heard it three times already this year. Um, Mina says that there is no Santa Claus, that it's just her parents who buy Mina as one of her friends. Yeah. And then another kid in the class says there's no Santa Claus, just the parents, and, and, you know, we brush it, gloss over it. We don't have a sit down with, like, look, they're lying to their children. We just go, like, well, you know, Santa, it, then Santa, Santa brings presents to kids who believe in Santa. Yeah. But I, I'm telling you, I think two years ago that kid was fucking wise to it and shit. She's, and she's just, just playing us down, yeah. And nobody wants to be the first to be like, nah. are you fibbing or are we fibbing? What's Who's fibbing on? here? You know, that kind of thing. Which we would say just like that. But anyway, so age five or six, I knew there was no Santa. But I was playing along. 
and you know, my, she asked me what I wanted from Santa, and I was like, Batman and the Batcave, man. Yeah. Now, you know, granted, the, we were kind of not wealthy. Yeah. We didn't have five acres of fucking land like something. <laughs> Um, Where we grew money. <laughs> in case you're wondering. <laughs> to spend on Christmas gifts that we then box up and give to the poor. Because we were Canadians. But um, Christmas morning, I'm looking under the tree and I see a big box. I'm like, that's got to be it. Because the Mego Batcave stood about three feet tall. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, looking for the big box. That wasn't for me. Oh. And I remember my mom being like, I think you're going to want to open that one. And it was small. It was like... The size of um, like a cutting board, kind of. Yeah. But a small cutting board that you would cut lemons on. Yeah. Um, and flat, like maybe maybe about as thick as a book. Yeah. Um, and if only it had been a book, that might have been better than what it was. I open it up, and it's a, a bat cave. But it's this plastic, fold-up, book-like bat cave. That has a little handle on it. And you open it up and it stands as a little diorama with a floor and a back wall. My friend had that. I know what it is. Paper cut out characters that stood in these little plastic discs to make them stand up. And they weren't even cut out of the paper they were on. It was like rectangular piece of cardboard with a drawing of Batman. Yeah. Front and on the back, another drawing of Batman's front. So you didn't even have the back and the front. You had the front and the front. So wherever Batman was standing, he was also he was looking in two directions at once because he was printed on both sides. Yeah. And she was so delighted, my mother, that she had gotten me this. And even at age six, I was just like, I had the presence of mind to not make a stink about it. Because I'm like, I know we're not wealthy. Yeah, yeah. I know we're poor. And I know this is the best they can do. Either that or she just really thought this is what I was talking about. If so, she's deluding herself, because why would I ask for this? But I remember being crushed inside, but not showing it not on the outside. Like, hey, I didn't, you, you don't love me. Totally, I didn't want to do that. I feel bad making her feel bad for, you know, because what's she going to say? Like, we're poor. Yeah, yeah, Um, You know, so, I, but I, I, it was such a big disappointment. Never got that Mego back cave. No. Never, never got it. Years later. And then, I, you know, I lost interest in Then I was into Star Wars. Yeah, that was. I, then I got a lot of stuff. They more than made up for it years later. I got shitload of fucking Star Wars figures and shit. Millennium Falcon had an X Wing, had the Jawa Sandcrawler, remote control Jawa Sandcrawler. That was my only Christmas disappointment. Because every. I, to be fair, and they were very, very generous with the Star Wars stuff. Although they did pull a fast one on me one year. Big toy was the Ad At after Empire Strikes Back came out, the Snow Walker. Yeah. It was like a $40 or $60 yeah, toy. Yeah, yeah. And my, my mom got me the ad at for christmas and i was like oh my god and she's like now that's that's a big purchase so that's going to cover christmas and your birthday which wasn't until august <laughs> you know eight months later yeah um <clears throat> and maybe next christmas i was like oh it's cool guy couldn't have won anything more than this you know she kind of made a deal with me yeah, yeah after yeah. she gave it to me yeah. she didn't make a deal with me because that would have been an advance to lay out like you sure you want the ad at because if you get it it's going to take up three holidays worth yeah. of gift giving then I found out like a year later that she didn't buy it. We were given it by a family friend, and she took the credit for it, and still like jipped me out of two other fucking holiday gifts because Biden cares that the other. I remember we would get up the way it was in our house was there were there were gifts under the tree, mm-hmm. um, stuff from grandparents and stuff like that, and then Santa would leave the gift out mm-hmm. unwrapped. Oh, Santa didn't wrap. Santa didn't wrap, so when you got up... Um, you knew what you were getting. Yeah, so that's why it's like we would literally like be up at like 4 in the morning and want to go downstairs because you knew that it was there. And not only- Just by walking down the stairs, you'd be like, I know what I got for Christmas. Can See, I-? and then you re- I realized my parents, the way they, the reason they did that was because it was like, so we could get up at 6 in the morning... And not wake them. And not wake them. That is actually kind of brilliant. So we would, And you would get your one... The one big thing you really wanted, like, I wanted the Legoland Castle, and so mm-hmm. I got the Legoland Castle, and then I spent four hours putting it together, and well, they, they got up. In. Yeah. Or maybe you slipped it to her. Yeah. Because the like, kids are busy, man. Let's do it. Roll over. Maybe that happened. <laughs> Probably <laughs> did. Know. Probably did. Let's um, call your parents and ask. 
You guys remember fucking while we were playing Legos? <laughs> like, I guess. I don't know. Are we Maybe on the air? Once.